this video I'll show you how to gain access to the www folder which is the root directory for our web server without having to change the owner of the group of the directory or changing any other permissions of the directory. The reason why we do this is because the default permissions for the folder are for the root user only to write to. And so what we're going to go ahead and do now is create a symbolic link to that folder. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my places, my home folder, and just create a folder that I can use to be able to dump files in. So I'm going to go ahead and create a folder and I'm just going to call it public underscore HTML. You can call it whatever you'd like, but for this video I'll just use public HTML. And we're going to go ahead and I'll minimize this, open up the terminal. And so what we're going to do now is use the command to actually create the link. And I'm going to have to do this with the sudo or the root user privileges. So I'll type in sudo space ln, that's for our link, space dash s, s which tells us it's a symbolic link, space. We're going to go ahead and do forward slash. Now we're going to go ahead and go to our home directory. So I'm going to go ahead and type in home forward slash. Now you're going to type in the username you're using. and if you start typing it in and hit the tab it should fill it in for you and then we're going to go ahead and type in the public folder so I'm just going to go ahead and start typing it in and hit tab and you'll see that it goes ahead and fills it in for me so that's my first part of my link now I'm going to show you the location where to link it to so I'll hit the space bar type in the forward slash var forward slash www and this is the default location that Apache puts the www folder here in Ubuntu so I'm going to go ahead and hit enter and we're going to type in the password for your root user account or the sudo password and it looks like we've got it created so I'm going to go ahead and minimize this we'll just double check here so I'll go to places computer file system the ver folder and the www folder and you can see inside of here I've got this link and you can see the little arrow that represents this as a symbolic link. I've also got the default file here that Apache will put in here uh, for our web page. And so if I double click in here, this is actually going to be a link to the folder I created in my home directory. So let's see how this works. I'm going to go ahead and open up my home folder. And you can see the public HTML is there. I'll go ahead and double click inside of that. Right click. And I'm going to go ahead and say create a new document just to test to make sure that works and I'm going to call it info.php and I'm going to go ahead and right click and choose open with text editor. Now this is a PHP file so you're going to want to make sure that you do have the PHP installed which comes installed when you install the LAMP server. We're going to go ahead and just type in just a small bit of code here just the PHP info function. I'm going to go ahead and save it. I'll close this and so you can see that this file now is in the public HTML folder. If I go ahead and take a look back on my places, computer, file system, there, www. Now you can see if I click inside this link, it'll also be located inside that because it is a link to that folder. So now if I open up my web browser, and now if I type in localhost, and hit enter. You'll see that that brings us to the default page within Apache. Now if I want to view the files that I've created for my new symbolic link, I need to type in the folder or the directory name that we linked it to, public HTML forward slash, and now any files that are in that folder. Since I didn't have an index file in there, I just had the info. I'm going to have to type in info.php. Hit enter. And you'll see that it brings up the PHP file. So this is creating a symbolic link within Ubuntu to the www folder in order for us to be able to put files in without having to modify the actual www permissions.